Good afternoon. Hello. Welcome, Welcome to, to Hello Kitty's, Kitty's World. World. I'm Kitty White, but everyone knows me as Hello Kitty. I'm Mimi White. Hello Kitty is my twin sister. Many people think that we look almost the same. However, I wear a yellow bow while Kitty wear a red bow. We have many friends, such as Fifi, Tracy, Little Twin Star. Hey Kitty, today we are not going to talk about our friends. Oh, I almost forgot. By the way, Kitty, you are now 42 years old. Do you still remember who created you? Of course, I was created by Sanrio in 1974 in Japan. Wow, you were born in Japan, but since then you have traveled in so many different countries. Wherever you go, you have adapted some local characteristics which make people even love you more. Yes, you're right. I like to wear local costumes and join different international festivals. Think globally, act locally. That's what globalization is all about. Today, Kitty will talk about how she has become more globalized in Hong Kong. Then Mimi will talk about how do people think about the globalized Kitty. Finally, we will discuss whether globalization is necessary today for Hello Kitty and even in Hong Kong situation. Now, let's pass the time to Hello Kitty. Thanks, Mimi. Hi, everyone. It's me again, Hello Kitty. Let me ask you a question first. Do you like shopping? If you do, there are millions, you can easily find that there are millions of products with an image of me, Hello Kitty. From stationeries to storybooks, from kitchen utensils to furniture. You name it, Hello Kitty stock got it. See, my image appears on stickers with popular Hong Kong slang in Cantonese, which is a sample of how I've been localized for Hong Kong customers. For example, Mong Dou Din and Tim Sui Zhong are very localized Hong Kong phrases. Mong Dou Din means extremely busy. And Tim Sui Zhong means a person seems to disappear so you cannot find him or her all the time. This is how my father, Sanrio, has taught me to be localized. When I combine local slang to create unique products, these stickers are more appealing to local consumers. How about festivals? Even though I'm a Japanese, during Chinese New Year, I like to make a gesture of paying a New Year call, and you can see me on the red packets. And I also like to uh, write some red banners with lucky messages. What's the festival a week ago? Meet Autumn Festival. Have you ever seen Hello Kitty's Mooncake? Here it is in Hong Kong. From packaging to every mooncake, all a Hello Kitty, which is me. Oh, I even have my own meat autumn lantern. It's so beautiful. Apart from the traditional festival, I, Hello Kitty, can be localized for special occasions in Hong Kong. For example, wedding. You can see me on a bedding set for newlyweds. And I will wear a traditional wedding, Chinese wedding dress. Besides, I recently started in an exhibition in Lanham Place Shopping Mall that featured Hong Kong in the 1960s. In the exhibition, I would use it to show different scenes of old Hong Kong. For example, the Star Ferry, a Chinese tea house, and the old photo studio, recording the memories of Hong Kong at this time in history. Apart from, uh, among all the traditional costumes, this one is my favorite, the Chinese opera costume. Nowadays, I'm everywhere. But have you imagined that I can be on food? Imagine a Chinese restaurant providing Chinese food with Chinese-style decor. You suddenly notice that every service and utensil have been branded with me, Hello Kitty. Don't be surprised. I'd like to tell you about a Chinese restaurant in Jordan called it Hello Kitty Chinese Cuisine. This restaurant provides Hello Kitty dim sum with my face on every bun, and you can see me on the other dishes. 
is a great place for my fans to come see me while enjoying the food. You can see that I've already merged into the culture and lifestyle of Hong Kong. When I go to different places, I love to learn about the culture and become more localized to make new friends. Now I'm well adapted to living in Hong Kong. Okay, let's pass the time to Mimi. Hi, it's Mimi time. There are tons of localized Hello Kitty products in Hong Kong. But how do people feel about Hello Kitty? Do they think that localization make Hello Kitty more attractive? Kitty and I have conducted an online survey which focused on young adults aged 19 to 22 years old. We want to find out whether localized Hello Kitty is more popular or the original styles. And it results so that Hello Kitty is well known in Hong Kong. We can see that all of the participants have heard of Hello Kitty before, although some misunderstood that Hello Kitty is a cat. However, Hello Kitty is not the most popular icon amongst the young adults. From our survey, we can see that most of the participants gave a low ranking of two or three on a scale from one to five, while one representing the least interest in Hello Kitty. Five representing the strong interest in Hello Kitty. So we can see that Hello Kitty is famous, but they are not really uh, popular from the young adults. So we would like to narrow our focus to another question. Which theme the Hello Kitty would they prefer to buy most? And the result is nearly half of them said that I don't care what theme is it is because I simply will not buy the Hello Kitty product. What about the opinions of those with a more positive view? 16% said that they would buy an original version of Hello Kitty due to two reasons. First, the original Hello Kitty represents a childhood memory for them. Second, the original Kitty have a classic design so that they will prefer to buy the original design of Hello Kitty. Therefore, these people tend to buy the original Hello Kitty when they uh, are choosing the Hello Kitty products. Nearly one third of uh, participants will choose the localized version we have two localized versions, which is the foreign localized Hello Kitty and the Chinese localized Hello Kitty. Although the percentage are quite different, but they tend to choose the localized version with similar reason. They are more unique, more beautiful, and more special. We will also to know the perspective of another age group. So we conduct an interview focus on the children aged 8 to 12 years old. We design a blog with three different images. The first one is the original kitty. Second one is the Chinese localized kitty. And the last one is the English localized kitty. Here we can watch a video to see how the kids to respond. As you see, one star represents one fold, and the most popular one is the Gokolized English Hello Kitty. It was followed by the Gokolized Chinese Hello Kitty, and the least popular is the original Kitty. For the English version, those participants chose it because they simply like the country and they like the, her costume. And for the Chinese version, they chose it because the elegant wedding costume and the original 
version, we are quite surprised that some children said that I won't chose it because I have seen this image for many times. This indicates that localization is successful to, to attract this kind of customers. So when we compare to two groups of two age group of children, we can find that the most popular version is the foreign localized Hello Kitty. This seems reasonable because Hong Kong is an international, international city with many different cultures merged into the society. So people have a higher adaption of the culture, especially the foreign culture. Oh, time is rushed. We have to back to London. Mimi, Kitty Kitty, where are you? Mimi, I'm here. Oh, where did you go? I was so distracted by the survey and an interview. You see, whether I'm like or dislike, people here all know me. Yes, your popularity cannot be underestimated. Um, whether... Okay, so we come to our last question. Whether localization is necessary nowadays? I think yes, because um, localization seems to be an effective marketing strategy. However, such localization were best in international context. Certainly, so that's your father scenario, let you wear different kinds of costumes. Yes, you're right. Okay, maybe time is up, it's time to go. Bye! Bye.